Hey everybody, it's Patty Ann here. Hang on just a sec. Today I wanted to just go over with you how to curve text in Cricut Design Space. I had forgotten to do that in yesterday's lengthy video. So the first thing you need to do is just come over to the text tool over here on the left hand side. Click on it. And then you can come up here to where it says font to change the font that you want to use. And any font will work. Let's just choose this one. I don't think I've used this one before. And I'm going to type in um, Cricut Oops. Design. And then on the next line, I'm going to type in, so I hit enter, space. Oops, I hit enter twice. Space. Okay, so I'm going to click off of that. And now I can adjust this. If I wanted to use the curve tool now, notice it's not available to me. You can only use the curve tool when you have one line selected. So I could have either put in Cricut Design Space and been done with that one and then put in space as a second one. And here I'll show you what I mean. I could have come over to the text tool and said Cricut Design and then hit and then clicked outside. So there's one. And then I would come back to the text tool and do space. So that's one way that I could do it like that. And now you'll notice I can curve this and I can curve this one. But still, since I put these in at the same time with just hitting the enter or return button, the curve function is not available to me. Let's say I accidentally do this. There is a way to get back the um, curve uh, ability. So let me get rid of these first. Delete. And how I would do that is just highlight these and then come up to advanced and ungroup to lines. When you're trying to curve, never ungroup to letters because you won't be able to curve anymore. Ungroup to lines. So now when I click on this, notice that the curve tool is available. Now I can take this first one perhaps and maybe I want to put this in a circle. So let's see. I'm going to get a shape over here. Circle. And I think I'll make it a little larger. And I'll change the color over here on the right to white. So now I can click on this and bring it over. Whoops, I need to right click on it and send to front. Okay, and now I can curve this text. Now, if I wanted to curve downwards, I just remember right is down. But if you don't remember that, just try it. And let's see what I'm going to move it all down over here so I can see. OK, I'm not liking that at all. Uh, so maybe I want to make it a little bit more curved. That's better. Okay, and I can, if I want to, change the letter spacing here. Okay. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this again and click up here on Curve and check out this number right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it by just taking my mouse and holding down my mouse key and dragging over it. Then I'm going to right click and copy. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm going to use this guy down at the bottom now. And I would really like him to be uh, curved the same way. Whoops, but I need to send this. OK, I need to send this. Move backward. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is click on this, come up to the Curve tool. Now, you'll remember when it was this number, well, the number that I copied here, it curved it down like this. If I put a minus, a minus sign 
or a dash up there, before I paste in that same number, it's going to make it curve upwards. So watch. I'm going to paste in the same number, and I'm going to hit Enter, and it curved it upwards, just like I wanted. And now what I can still do is I can change the letter spacing, and I can move it over, I can rotate it, I can do anything I want to with it. Here's the thing though, if I was to do this, click on this, and un it go to advance, ungroup to letters, now notice right now, right now the curve is still available, right? But if I come up here to advance and say ungroup to letters, and I move a letter, and then I try to like group, whoopsie, I can group it all again. So come up here to group, and then I move this, or actually I just have to move the ball or the circle. So this is still, I can still curve this one. I haven't ungrouped this to letters. But when I look at this one, no curve tool comes up. Click this one, the curve tool is available. Click this one that I changed to ungroup to letters, even though I regrouped it, the curve tools is no longer available. So let's see, one other thing I want to do just for fun. Okay, I'm going to insert him in because I think that'd be cute. Freaking design space. Okay, and so if I wanted to, once again, I could hit click him and the shape and go to align center. And that puts him right dead center. So that's it. Okay, there are two main things to remember when using the curve tool. One, it will only enable for text boxes with a single line of text. If you have multiple lines of text to curve, enter each line in its own text box. And two, the curve tool cannot be used on text that has been ungrouped to letters. Even if you have regrouped those individual letters, it will not work. So that's it. Thanks for joining me, you guys. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Bye-bye.